टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सब एक्यूट कम्बाइंड डी जनरेशन द सब एक्यूट कम्बाइंड डी जनरेशन इज ए न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशेंसी द वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशेंसी ऑल्सो कॉज द मेगेलोब्लास्टिक एनीमिया टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस सीक्वेल ए इन ह्यूमन बॉडी पैथोलॉजिकली ऑन अ बेसिस ऑफ एम सी वी द एनीमिया इज डिवाइड इंटू थ्री टाइप माइक्रोसिटिक एनीमिया विद एम सी वी लेस देन एटी नॉर्मोसिटिक एनीमिया विद एम सी वी इन द रेंज ऑफ एटी टू हंड्रेड एंड द मैक्रोसिटिक एनीमिया विद एम सी वी ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड दिस मैक्रोसिटिक एनीमिया इज कॉज बाय फॉलिड डिफिशेंसी एंड द वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशेंसी दिस वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व डिफिशेंसी विच कैन लीड टू द मैक्रोसिटिक एनीमिया इन अबाउट फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ केसेस कॉज अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन दिस न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन इज कॉल्ड एज सब एक्यूट कंबाइंड डी जनरेशन नाउ अ क्वेश्चन अराइज इज दैट वट एक्चुअली कॉज द न्यूरोलॉजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन इन सब एक्यूट कंबाइंड डी जनरेशन इन सब एक्यूट कंबाइंड डी जनरेशन ड्यू टू द डिफिशेंसी ऑफ द वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व देर विल बी डी माइलिनेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट न्यूरोन which lead to the polyneuropathy affecting the different part of brain and spinal cord so th- there will be a widespread neurological abnormality neurological abnormality will depend on the site of lesion predominantly there are four neurological abnormality the first one is that posterior column lesion due to the degeneration of the ascending tract in the posterior column the patient will experience a loss of vibration and proprioception the second one is that there will be a peripheral neuropathy mean the peripheral nerve will be affected which can cause paresthesia tingling or numbness the third one is that the the uh, there will be a defect in the pyramidal tract so the patient will will suffer from uh, ex- from the positive babinski sign along with the brisk knee jerk and the absent ankle jerk and the fourth one is that it can affect the cerebellum which can lead to the positive romberg sign also called as a rombergism so these four neurological abnormality the posterior column lesion peripheral neuropathy the pyramidal tract lesion and the rombergism is a characteristic sign in sub acute combined degeneration now a question arises that how a patient will present clinically clinically the patient of the sub acute combined degeneration present during the 4 to 6 decade of life with the sensory symptoms including paresthesia tingling or numbness which usually arises from toes and finger and it affect lower limb more commonly than the upper limb apart from that the patient can present with sim- motor symptoms such as a weakness ataxia and loss of all reflexes there will be an exaggerated knee reflex with the loss of ankle jerk and positive babinski sign uh, along other than this there will be a bladder involvement such as a urinary incontinence and dribbling with optic atrophy and the mental changes such as dementia impaired memory confusion and depression it was all about the clinical feature of sub acute combined degeneration now let's discuss the causes that what caused the deficiency of vitamin b12 there are a wide variety of factors which lead to the deficiency of the vitamin b12 such as chronic ppi use post gastrectomy any mal- any pancreatic disorder uh, by a type of infection such as a type filibostrum latum and uh, any malabsorptive condition such as a celiac disease or crohn disease it was all about the causes of the vitamin b12 deficiency now let's discuss the investigation in sub acute combined degeneration the first one is the blood level of the vitamin b12 this is a first line uh, diagnostic test for the diagnosis of vitamin b12 deficiency other than this we can also perform cbc with peripheral smear the cbc will show decrease hemoglobin with increase mcv and on peripheral smear there will be a hyper segmented neutrophil by the hyper segmented we mean that there will be a more than six lobe the third one is a bone marrow the bone marrow will be a hyper cellular with decreased reticulocytosis and other than this we can perform other tests related to the cause of a uh, cause of the deficiency such as the shelling test uh, in addisonian pernicious anemia and and in biopsy or any other investigation for the diagnosis of a crohn disease 
so it was all about the investigation now come toward the treatment of sub acute combined degeneration to treat the sub acute combined degeneration we provide a replacement therapy of the vitamin b12 how we will replace the vitamin b12 initially we give 1000 microgram of vitamin b12 intramuscularly five doses two to three days apart and after this initial therapy and after this initial therapy we give 1000 microgram of vitamin b12 after every three months for lifelong with this initial therapy the patient can develop iron deficiency and hypokalemia so we need to correct it the iron deficiency should be treated with iron supplement and the hypokalemia need a specific treatment other than the, other than this we can treat a primary cause mean if a, uh, if a patient have develop a vitamin b12 deficiency secondary to a cause we should treat the treatable cause question arises that how a patient respond to the treatment the, the patient usually show good response to the anemia the patient will show clinical improvement within 48 hour with reticulocytosis may be seen after 2 to 3 days and the hemoglobin raise level will raise to the 1 g per dl every week but the neurological response is variable the patient may improve remain unchanged or or even deteriorate the in the neurological abnormality the sensory abnormality improve more than the motor and the peripheral neuropathy response better than the myelopathy the sensory neuropathy take about 4 to 8 months to recover but the long standing polyneuropathy may not be improved so it was all about the sub acute combined degeneration now a question arises that can we transfuse a blood to a patient with vitamin b12 deficiency the answer is no we we never transfuse a blood in vitamin b12 deficiency because the vitamin b12 deficiency develop over year of over 3 year so that there will be a decompensated heart failure so when we transfuse it the patient can die due to the heart failure so always avoid the blood transfusion in patient with vitamin b12 deficiency so it was all about the sub acute combined degeneration if there is still any question you guys can ask and stay tuned for more update